What is going on everybody? Well, welcome back to the fish room and today the video is going to be all about babies We're gonna be showing you all kinds of babies here in the fish room So if you happen to like baby fish, then make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video And in fact, I'll give you a second to do that right now Well, I really appreciate it guys. Thank you very much And if you haven't subscribed make sure you go ahead and do that as well and hey Let's get into this today. Now, the uh, main reason that I brought you in here is in fact not guppy babies. Guppy babies are an easy thing to breed and it's a very simple thing to do. However, we do in fact have baby guppies in this tank right here. In fact, if you remember this female right here, she is massive. I did an entire video on her being possibly the world's largest guppy because she is massive. But if you notice, her abdomen is not nearly as big and that is because she has produced a whole bunch of fry. And in fact, if we look in this tank right here, I'm just gonna come in here and start moving these plants back. And when I do, you will see all the fry swimming around back here. And I am talking about there are literally hundreds. There are so many fry back here and you can see them all swimming around right there now. They are everywhere and there is plenty of place for them to hide. You can see them back there maybe. Like they are everywhere in this tank. It is crazy how many fry are actually in here. But like I said, these are not the babies that we came to see. We have some special babies in the fish room and look at the guppies, they are going crazy. They think that they're going to get fed and they are in fact gonna get fed. We're actually gonna do an entire feeding of all the guppies before we get into checking out these new babies. So look at them all. They are in every tank. They're just going crazy because they know they're gonna get fed. So with that, let's go ahead and, and, and get some food ready for these guys. So what we're gonna be feeding today is a little bit of API Tropical Fish Flake, which is one of my favorite foods to feed in the fish room. We're also going to be feeding some brine shrimp, some frozen brine shrimp, as well as some frozen blood worms. And now it's time to feed our little red guppies some of this slurry here. And look at them, look at how happy they are. And they are going crazy for it. Moving on to the next tank. This is my new strain of guppies. I refer to these as my unicorn guppies because I don't know, they're very colorful and such. And we are still trying to get the color pattern exactly the way we want it by culling out the babies. So we're working on that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna, I don't know, you tell me. What do you think I should call these when we get them down right? So that one right there is almost perfect. It has a very colorful body with a very colorful mosaic tail. So, unicorn mosaics, I don't know. You tell me in the comments what you think, but let's get these guys fed too. <laughs> these guys are going crazy because they're trying to get to the food over there, so we're gonna go ahead and get these guys fed. These right here are my purple mosaic and very, very beautiful fish. In fact, they have some of their strain in these guys over here as well. But these guys are doing fantastic. If you remember, I got these from the Guppy Guru actually over a year ago now. This is actually a new male. That is one of the original females that I'd gotten from the Guppy Guru. And we have a lot of fry in here as well right now. But yeah, these guys are doing fantastic as well. So now we're gonna move up to these mutt tanks up here where we have this mutt tank here, we have one here, and we have a few over here in this tank that's not got a whole lot of plants in it right now. So let's get these guys fed. So here's one of the mutt tanks. Get these fed, finally, these guys. We're also gonna feed our white cloud mountain minnows some of this stuff these things have colored up nicely they are doing so well in this tank they have not started to breed yet but that should come soon hopefully looking up here we have gerald's enclosure and if you look right there he just recently shed again and he is getting massive so it is almost time to upgrade the enclosure for gerald because he is getting big and we have a tank for him right here so that's a 40 gallon breeder he'll be upgraded to that very very soon so stay tuned for that build. If you look right here, this is our fish bowl with our betta in it. And I don't know if you saw this video, but you know, tons of controversy over a fish bowl, but I love it. It's fully planted and it's doing fantastic. I've been doing water parameter checks on it just to make sure that the fish in here is safe and he's absolutely safe and actually seems to quite enjoy it. Loves, you know, hanging out on the plants and everything else. Just take a look at this a pistogramma cockatoidy tank. 
And in fact, if you see right there, there's the male and the female. And those things are looking fantastic. That male and female are so pretty. They have completely paired up and it'll be interesting to see if and when they produce any offspring. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Look at that right there. Do you see that? Do you see that? There are babies in this tank. The Epistogramma cockatoides have successfully bred and have hatched their young. There are babies in the tank. Did you, do you see the fry right there? Oh my gosh, let's take a closer look at this. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. I have never successfully bred egg bearing fish ever in the fish room. This is a first guys. So let's take a closer look at these. I cannot believe this. There's more, there's more. I had been reading that the female will get exceptionally yellow when they're breeding and the male will get exceptionally territorial and I just assumed that they were trying to breed. I did not realize that they had actually hatched their young. This is crazy. Absolutely amazing. All right, we're going to have to take a closer look. Let's let's look at this tank even closer. There's the male again. He's coming out. He must be hungry. I think we should pro Yeah, he's hungry. We should feed this dude. So let's get some more food and feed him real quick before we look in at these babies. Let's drop that down there and so oh, and there he goes. Look at him. He's going for him right there. He is hungry. He is tired probably from all the protecting he's doing of his new little babies. And there's the female up in there hiding. I wonder if she's hungry. Should we try to feed her too? Go ahead and drop her some of these blood worms in here as well and just see what we can get her to come out and do, if anything. See if she gets, oh, there she goes. She's going to get some of them. Oh, oh, he's after somebody. He is after the pygmy Cory. Oh, goodness, you better watch out. Oh, this dude is not messing around for real. Okay, well, good. That's amazing. Let's look closer at these babies, though. This is, I, I am, wow, this is crazy. If you guys know anything about Epistogramma cockatoides and their breeding patterns and things like that, if you want to share any of that information down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated because as you know, I love hearing your feedback and I love hearing all the knowledge and, and sharing knowledge and those types of things. So if you have any knowledge on these cockatoides, please make sure you drop a comment below and let me know. So this was all about setting up a breeding tank and I did the research to understand that they needed some sort of a cave structure, which is why we have this kind of laid out the way we do and it seemed to have worked i'm super excited about this guy so once again make sure you drop a comment and let me know all the details anything that you want to let me know about these epistogramma cockatoity babies because i really am looking forward to raising these guys up look at this guy he's he's just chilling but with all that let's feed the betta real quick in the bowl see if he wants to eat something i'm sure he does we're gonna drop him some blood worms in here there they go let's see and boom he loves blood worms now we're gonna come down to this heavily planted tank here where we have yet another little well he's not little he's huge actually better there he is right there and there's a little cardinal tetra that hangs out in this tank with him and he is coming to eat all right guys well hopefully you went on to enjoy this video today and you enjoyed all of these baby fish there's so many of them in the fish room right now and we really like breeding these fish so like i asked you in the beginning of the video go ahead and drop a like and go ahead and leave a comment let me know what do you think about the unicorn guppy as far as what the name should be. Do you think Unicorn Guppy is the right name for it? Let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe. Come follow us on Instagram as well. And with all that, we will see you next time. Uh -huh.